I was talking to this girl in a bar the other day and she said, I need a date for Halloween. I said, October 31st. And Halloween it is, October 31st. Welcome to Shave and Butcher and I'm coming to you live. Well, not live, but I'm coming to you from, I'm not coming to you at all, but I'm filming this in New York City. You know, the city that never sleeps the uh, and so on <clears throat> and uh, I, God, I look dead in this this light is horrible it's not a very nice hotel room <laughs> at all so i look yeah i look fit for halloween don't i please put a filter or cover the phone with a paper bag or something <clears throat> but i i brought a chevette to new york i never check in luggage especially when I travel out, but I thought, well, maybe I run into a shop that has razor blades, uh, and I did. So you may want to check out the previous video, uh, which is uh, a visit to Pasteur's Pharmacy, which is just a few hundred meters from where my hotel is. Not by accident. And that's a good four minutes of super close-ups uh, going up and down uh, tills of shave gear that place is insane if you haven't been go there it was quite quite cool i i purchased a few soaps this is one of them this is exclusive to pasteurs and i thought well, i'll buy soaps that are exclusive to pasteurs so i can show them and no one's used them but then i realized you can buy stuff online from pasteurs so not that exclusive but anyway Empire State of Mind, cool label, made exclusively for Pasteur's. This is HC and C, and yeah, uh, this is twenty five dollars for five ounce, so not cheap, but probably pretty good. I'm reading from my laptop here. Um, it's a collaboration. Da, da, da. It's a dupe of Sauvage Elixir and it is imposing, attractive and elegant as the New York City Empire State represents. Top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom and grapefruit. Middle note is lavender. The base notes are licorice, sandalwood, amber, patchouli and Haitian vetiver. And it's cool and it's Cocoa butter, cocoa butter, elipe butter, whatever that is, uh, goat milk. Yeah, so um, tos, tosa silk. So probably no animals <clears throat> in the soap. So I travel light. This is my only shaving uh, thing. Uh, although I, I do have this that I always carry for traveling and I'll use that on the head in a minute. I have one brush and it's from Frank Shaving, it's Friendship Shaving, you know Mark's YouTube channel and Facebook group and this is Macy and it's from 2019. <clears throat> Do I have a cold? Okay, it's an expensive place to be put in, uh, <laughs> to be put in quarantine for COVID, so I hope it's not that. Wilkinson Sword, only the best. This was a dollar fourteen. I think it was a dollar ninety nine actually, or they cheated me. So here we go. Here is the soap. The pour is not very impressive. I thought it was a piece of paper on top, but it wasn't. But it has been. So I don't know if that was taken off by someone, but not very pretty. Doesn't matter. After the first tub um, loading, it's all gone. So Halloween. Just gonna get my my, my face wet and my brush wet. Yeah. So literally got in just a few hours ago. I'm here for business for just a few days. Oh, a few days. Synthetic brush. So tomorrow I'm going to Brooklyn for a conference thingy. Then, actually in the evening, I'm going to Madison Square Garden to, to watch the New York Rangers play 
Philadelphia Flyers. And now this is Corridor, and it's just a few hundred meters away in the other direction. So, hmm, no coincidence. Yeah, this smells good. This reminds me of another soap. This reminds me of a noble otter soap. I can't remember what it's called. Do I have enough? Probably. Uh, no, I only have one noble otter. And it's reminiscent of, of that. So smells of, wow, that's dry. Let's get some more water in. I don't even know if I loaded enough. Let's see. So I have tried HCMC before because I have Le Mafioso, which is collaboration with Canadian Mafia Show. Probably is enough, but it's not plentiful, is it? Should I load more? We'll do a bit of messing about and see where we're at. No, I think that will do. They're very similar. I don't, what could it be called? Smells of, no, it's not, it's not exactly the same. Do you, do you remember? I've used the no blotter soap once, maybe six months ago. I think maybe I got it. I think maybe Marion the Barbarian sent it across to Europe and I got it off Frank or someone. Yeah, same soap base as the mafioso. So it requires a bit of a heavier load than your experience from some soaps. Now we need a little bit more water. God, I'm close. <laughs> Nothing I can do. I brought my mount and mirror is there. I put it on the mirror. What else can I do? Nothing much. So we're getting a close-up of someone who looks more dead than alive. And to be honest, it is a combination of, of the horrible, horrible light and the fact that it's, you know, 2, 2 a.m. Swedish time or something. Yeah, I'm not quite getting the hang of the lather. Could be the water I'm not used to. But that's, that will do. That will do just fine. Did smuggle in a bit of Woodford Reserve. So we're using that as a lubricant <coughs> for the for the state of mind of the empire. Okay, this is a Parker SRX. And I'm kind of, I'm hitting the wall or not. Okay. Might as well get used to it. I'll be here for a few days. Wilkinson sword blade. I think, I think maybe I've tried those blades before. But I can't remember what they were like. They're spoken highly of. Okay, so remember I, I butchered. I'll be careful here now. So I don't want to open up that wound. So I'm close to. <clears throat> I'm almost on 6th Avenue <clears throat> and that's where uh, the Halloween parade happens, at least part of it happens there, you know, 
would be a cool idea to to take part in the parade just you know uh, no shirt on shaving foam everywhere staggering screaming <laughs> with a straight razor <laughs> Time for bed. It's starting at round about now, I think. But I'd probably get arrested. It was interesting because <clears throat> I I haven't traveled with a shavette in a hand luggage before. Did I get everything? Well, you tell me. I think so. So they stopped me at my airport. A small airport. Uh, I think the security personnel more or less recognized me. So they said, huh, looks like a straight racer. It probably isn't, but we need to check. And I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard what you said. It is uh, it's a straight tracer without the blade in it. Give me the bag and I'll show it to you. So I did. I showed it and I opened it and I said, usually there's a blade here, but there isn't any blade. And, and he, he just said, yeah, fine. And then I traveled to, you know, first leg was Brussels in Belgium. <laughs> And then on to uh, New York. And no extra security or anything. No extra check for anything, really. <clears throat> and <laughs> I guarantee I could have had a balloon in that thing and they wouldn't have taken it from me. I just, I just showed him, I said, this. Usually has a, has a blade, but there's no blade in, blah, blah, blah. I could have hidden that because the whole thing, I saw the, the imagery, of the x-ray, and it, it, it just looks like a straight racer, solid piece of steel. No way, look at the weeper, Halloween. No way that it would have looked any different if there was a razor blade in it because this is thick stainless steel, right? So interesting. Now, we don't encourage violence here, so don't do this at home, but kids, but still an interesting observation. This is the same damn thing that I opened up, what was it, three days ago. God, it never ends. Here we go. So just the weeper is going to go away with cold water, no worries. So the scent of the soap. As you saw, it had more than 20 odd scent, scent elements. And eh, to me, I don't know. It's cool because it's Pasteur exclusive. I bought it at Pasteur's. I will use it before. I am glad I didn't purchase the aftershave, to be honest. Nothing bad about the shave, but just like that no blot or so, I can't remember the name of. It kind of smells like wet cement and figs. Figs, the fruit. Which is an odd combination. And probably not what HCNC went for because wet cement is not in the scent note. Mm. 
neither is figs. I'm not going to shave that because I'm going to try not to open up the, the hole again. But a, a perfectly good soap, nothing wrong with the soap base. It does what it's supposed to do, which is to lubricate and facilitate the shave. <laughs> it's, it's not a very luxurious hotel room. Mind you, it's in New York, so it still costs a pretty penny. But it was the cheapest sort of central hotel I could find. Central, well, you know, close to where I want to be, which is the stores. May pop in again. The garden. Penn Station that I'm using tomorrow. And Grand Central Station Terminal, whatever it's called, that I'll be using on Thursday. So I'm walking distance from a lot of things, which is kind of cool. A very, very clean shade. So I wish I brought uh, <clears throat> an alum block. Mind you, could have bought that at Pasteur's. I don't think I will though. I, I probably will go back. I have a bit of time one of the days, Thursday I think. So I might pop by, but I don't know what I should get. What, what should I get? Uh, probably after shaves, right? And I, I, I don't mean matching ones, but you know, should I buy, what is it called? Well, Osage, Osage, um, Rub, uh, I have Pinot Club Man, one of them, I have two, one's crap. Uh, I don't know, you know, something interesting and no more soaps because <laughs> I, have, I have like close to a hundred that I'm planning to get rid of before I move houses. So we're not doing more of those, but and then there's solid colognes. I don't know. If, if you follow my channel and you know what I typically use, let me know if you have any thoughts as to what I should perhaps try out from Pasteur's. Um, and is there any other shaving shop in New York? I haven't heard of any. Nah, none are as good as Pasteur's, I'm sure. Thank you very much for watching. It was State empire state of mind uh, looks cooler than what i thought it was but you know first attempt maybe i like it next time i try it out thank you and see you soon and stay sharp